Welcome back, everybody. We are going to, uh, we're going to be spray painting this tree real quick. I just thought it may be something you want to see. Uh, just, you know, putting sealants and sealers and painting, painting your carvings, painting them, giving them some, some nice lucky stuff. As you can tell, we have a Christmas tree carved out. No, I didn't show it. My apologies. I have one Christmas tree that I, that's on my video. You can find it, How to Make Christmas Trees. It's on my YouTube channel. All right, we're going to do that in a second. I'm going to give you my intro. It's coming up. You know, it's time to get to work. All right, now we're back. Hope you liked the intro. All right, on this carving already, I have uh, boiled linseed oil. My, my ideal for it is... Uh, they want the tree painted, so I'm gonna paint it with a, uh, it's just a Restellium oil base paint, enamel. So I am gonna paint it with that. But before that, a couple days ago, I went ahead and put a mixture of boil linseed oil, let that soak in to the front side of it, okay? To this front wood part where I was gonna be putting the spray can. That way it kind of seals off the whole area that's gonna be painted. I wanted to go ahead and kind of seal that off. This is all dry, it's not tacky. I didn't put multiple coats on it. Just enough to give it something underneath the paint, okay? I'm not going to be coming back. I'm not putting a sealer on top of my paint on this. I kind of put a sealer underneath the, the, blah, 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 the limb portion. There we go, the limb portion of the carving. So what I'm gonna do real quick, we're gonna swap over and go into fast mode and let's just have fun with this. I'm gonna paint this and then I will be putting the Cabot's Natural on the base and on the back. Just to give it something different. Make, give it, bring out, pop that wood out. We're gonna pop that wood out. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go fast mode right now, warp speed. Okay, now that you saw that, the tree is a lovely green. It's just beautiful, it just warms your heart. Like, my heart's just all warm and fuzzy inside. Now we're gonna do like a light dusting of white. That will give it like a popping look of, I don't know, a dusting of white, like it just snowed or something. All right, so now you just get your white spray can. And you don't wanna go as crazy on this one, okay? Like you saw the green, you know, now this thing is all still wet, but I don't plan on touching it, okay? I'm gonna let this, once I put this white on, I'm setting it to the side probably for a good day to let it dry. And then, well, I may go ahead and do the base. I'll show you doing the base because I'm not gonna be touching the green or the white and I'll just paint the base real quick. So we're gonna do it with the white. Take your white. Okay, I tested the white over there. Now all you're gonna be doing to do this dusting effect, it's pretty simple. Stand back. Put your mouth cover on and, and dust it. We're dusting, giving it a little snow dust. And you go as heavy, or as, you know, as heavy or as dark on this, or as heavy as, or, or, or light on this as you want. You want just like a light dusting. Do a light dusting. Just kind of make sure you're even and symmetrical, I guess, or whatever. Heck, I don't know, make it heavy on one side where the tree's going to be facing that weather pattern, or I don't know. And if you looked in the video, I was turning the tree, too, towards my natural light. Because when you're painting stuff, you need a lot of light. You just do, because you can, you can miss things really easily. That's why I always use my natural light a lot versus my inside, my, I don't know, incandescent lights. I feel like I get a better sense of what's painted and what's not. You can tell I got a towel around my base because I want that to be stained. I don't want it to be painted. All right. And of course you can do more things than this, you know. I am hitting this top a little bit more. I feel like the top, tops of trees get hit. You gotta be careful. You can keep going to town and you're like, well crap, I put too much over here. So but before you know, you just painted your whole tree white. All right, I'm liking this. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna slip. A little bit more. Make sure it's all to your liking. And I only put one coat of that green on there. You're covering it up anyways. There's, you know, you're uh, not gonna have to put a lot. I'm just kind of doing some touch-up stuff because you, once you, you know, like your carved lines, you're gonna have shadows, so you're gonna have to hit it from one side to the other. Like you may hit it over here, but then you may have to hit it over here. Just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All right, man, this, this is like real-time stuff right here. All right, I think we're gonna call that goodies for right now. I'll take a picture of it. I'll take a picture of it and show it to her, see what she thinks. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for just a minute. We're gonna come back in just a second and then we'll do the base. Huh? Sorry, just trying to get my seat adjusted properly. All right, bam, 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 bam. All right, tail looks really pretty, right? Looks. Beautiful. Get you over here. Looks good. Looks good. This the base don't have anything on it yet. I'm uh, I'm digging this look. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna test this real quick because you know my thoughts. As soon as I took this off and that, now the white and then this light wood. I don't know if I want to use. I don't know if I want to use my uh, my cabinets natural. I'm gonna test it out on the back. That's a uh, yeah, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. I like that color. We're gonna be good. Always test your stuff out if you can. You know, uh, to see how much it changes the colors of something. Yeah, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. I like this. And this just kind of gives it a distinct, uh, a different look. Helps seal off the bottom. You know, I've already sealed it once, like I said, with the boil linseed oil. And uh, I split it almost like 50 50 with uh, paint thinner. But then uh, I just wanted to add a little bit more color and I really like the cabinets. It's gonna throw a little bit of a sheen on there and it's gonna just make it kind of pop, make those colors come together. It's a nice, just beautiful, beautiful piece. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. It's just part of it, it's just part of it. I think it's gonna come out good. I probably won't, uh, since I've already kind of sealed this up once, I don't want to, I'm, I probably won't put a second coat of the uh, cabinets. I think I'm just gonna do one coat. That way, uh, I don't want this to go any darker than what it is, like the base of it. And, uh, cause I'm just kind of liking this color right now. Sometimes if you like, keep layering on the sealants, it will, uh, you know, just make it darker. It'll just keep on putting that pigment in. The This natural, it doesn't do it too bad, but some of them can really darken it up. And I'm okay with, I'm all right with this color right here. I think it really gives it a nice offset color. Uh, really makes it stand out, especially the white and stuff. This is really standing out. I think it's, I think she's gonna love it. If not, I don't know, I'm gonna cry, I guess. But she's gonna love it, nice lady, nice lady. And this is all pretty simple stuff. I mean, this isn't uh, like uh, any special type of wood or anything. Maybe it's maple, maybe it's poplar. Don't know, don't know. Let me skid on over here. So yeah, this piece is almost done, almost done. I love making trees. For some reason, I like making my trees. I try not to, trees I feel like it's just like a good, simple thing to start on. Yeah, I didn't show you this one, but I showed you another one on there. All your trees are gonna differ, like trees do. And uh, you'll get your style on what trees you like. You know, uh, the more you can bring into them, the more lines and uh, depth you can bring into your tree and the more design more people like them so uh trees are good i like trees i like doing them i like making trees out of trees it's a it's a fun thing to do 
you just made a tree out of a tree that used to be a tree and is now a tree again. I wonder if you can make a tree out of a tree that was a tree. Maybe one day we'll make, <laughs> maybe we'll make a tree out of another tree into another tree, into a series of trees. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. That's all there is to show you. I'm not going to keep boring you. I mean, it's just me painting. Me painting. That's it. That's it. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Let me put the camera on there. Bam. Beautiful Christmas tree. Tell the whites looking beautiful. Came in with that darker base. Made it stand out. Kabam. Kabam. All right, that's it for this. This tree's done. I'm gonna slide it over here. Put a fan on it probably. Let it dry out for the week. You know, not touch it. Don't touch them. The stuff, it takes forever to dry. You're using oils in colder months. It's gonna take a while. Okay, you're, you're dealing with the tree maybe still having some moisture inside. And it's gonna affect the dry times on your, your paints, your oils, your sealants. Don't touch your products. Okay, just don't do it. It's not gonna work out for you. You're gonna have smears and all kinds of stuff. Just sit it to the side, let it have time, put some air, make sure you got air circulation going around them. Don't get in a hurry, just don't. All right, that's it, that's it for today. That's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I mean, if you did, you know what to do. And uh, yeah, yeah. It's not Christmas yet. It's not Christmas yet. It's still getting ready for it. Santa's coming, Santa's coming to town. All right, we'll talk to you later. Y'all have a good day. More videos to come. Keep looking for them. Check them out. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, be good to everybody. Yeah, I was like saying that. It's kind of like my catchphrase. Be good to everybody. All right, bye.